Hey, we're here with Quinn and Fiona from Madison, right? Yeah. Yes. And what is the what is the sig insignia on your shirt? Oh, this is uh, from Booker Sailing Club. Uh, Where's that? It's up in Madison on Lake Mendota. Okay. I uh, I taught there. It was the youth director there, and uh, been sailing there. I think since I was like ten years old. So. And uh, how long have you been in the Flying Scott fleet? This is our first season. Uh, we just got it. Um, in like March, I think. This you got season. it in March. Yep. Yeah. It's awesome. And where did you get it? Uh, so my old hockey coach's father-in-law uh, used to sail it. If you peel this back, the last time the boat was registered was uh, 93, I think. No and kidding. It, and it, uh, it sat in his garage for uh, 30 years. And he was hoping his grandkids would get into it. The, uh, the kid I used to play hockey with, but they, uh, they played more hockey than sales. So then uh, they were looking for it to go to a good home. And what year was it built? Uh, we think it's a 1966. Uh, it's a custom flex boat. Hull custom flex. 864. 864. Yeah. Uh, we tried to narrow it down, um, but the records are a little shaky. So they sold us anywhere from 65 to 67. So we just say 66. Okay, cool. Nice, <laughs> nice. And, uh, and she's named Nessie. Yeah. Why is she named Nessie? It's Flying Scott, Scottish boat. Um, I'm a big fan of dragons, so we picked a Scottish dragon. To and that's what the center. insignia on the yeah. front here is. We have our little Is the Loch Ness Scott. Monster. Yeah. Yeah. You want to take us around the side here? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we just got, we just got our decals. We christened I see that. A few, uh, a few days ago, or a few weeks ago. With the name? Yeah. It was her, because she was unnamed when we got her. We're the third owners. Yeah. Um, original owner had her at... Uh, Milwaukee Yacht Club, and there's actually a sticker from 1971 on our, uh, on our trailer. No here. kidding, 1971, look yeah. at that. And we have, on a couple of our really old mainsails, we have uh, the North American yeah. measuring, uh, North American's measurement uh, certification from like, I think 70 and 71 yeah. too. We have <laughs> probably the original sails on the boat too. I'm not on the boat right now, In but we have them. We we have them. Oh, you have the original same. sails. Yes. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They're very old. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. And how did you do today? Uh, we uh, I think At we the improved in, in every race. Uh, our third race went pretty pretty well. Um, there's a lot of a lot of challenging conditions out there, but it was. You were in the championship fleet, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was great. Now, you sailed in college? Uh, very briefly, uh, just my freshman year, um, and then I just uh, local races, J24s, and. All and that. Fiona, you raced as well? Yeah, um, I moved here like two years ago, but before that, um, as a kid, I raced with my dad on like J80s back in Annapolis. So mixture nice. of boats. Nice. And you have a dragon on your leg? Yes. Yeah, there you I go. Do. No wonder you see you like dragons. Yeah, the dragons. <laughs> so you got to go with the Scottish dragon. Exactly. Now, why did you choose the Flying Scott? What's the story behind that? Uh, mainly, like, based on our area, there were only a few fleets around. And uh, this was the most affordable option for a couple people recently out of college. And, it, you know, it was a boat in great shape for a great price. And the community, we... We saw the uh, Godzooks videos online. And oh, okay, you saw our videos, uh, Sailing yep. With My Brother? Yeah, yes. it was great. Awesome. While we were debating, okay. oh, are we gonna be crazy and buy a boat? We did a lot of YouTubing on, on the Flying Scots and saw um, you guys having a bunch of fun and the fleet and everything like that. That's and awesome. I wanted to be a part of that, so <laughs> it was. So how many regattas have you been to this summer? I've been in this one and our the Glow Regatta uh, at Clinton Lake, and then we hosted the Clinicata up in Madison. And you participated in that? In both of those. And, and then I did the Women's Knack as well. You um, did? Great. Yes. Not in this boat, but I did the Women's Knack. Okay, who did you sail with at Women's Knacks? Uh, I sailed with my friends out of Puffer's Clubs, actually, Maddie, and I sailed on Dave Gorwitz's boat. Um, oh, great. The charter, which was a lot of fun. Okay, Dave is at, he went to a football game today. Yeah, <laughs> Alabama was it the Alabama, Alabama versus yeah. Wisconsin. Yeah. It did not go well. Yeah. It didn't my go well for mater, Wisconsin, my huh? Alma mater did not. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's great. Well, listen, we're so happy that you joined the Flying Scott fleet. Yeah. Uh, and uh, when will we see you at the next regatta? Oh man, uh, we got to put something on our schedule. Kentucky uh, Lakes coming up, beginning I, I of October. It. We're talking about it's an eleven-hour drive. You should, hour drive an 11 you should hour come drive. down. It's really fun. Well, uh, hopefully. Hopefully. All right. Well, we hope to see you soon. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. for your time. Yes. Okay.